Right, there seems to be a fair amount of confusion about this section on internal mass transfer and how it influences the overall reaction rate in the reactor. So um, I've prepared this just for you to be able to work at your own pace through the theory. So first of all, the big ideas in this section. We have some reactor in which we have some population of, uh, of catalyst particles. So if there's our reactor and we've got catalyst particles in this reactor, then we have some fluid phase in which these particles are suspended. So this might be a liquid phase or a gas phase, whatever it is. And then uh, the reaction actually happens inside these particles. So we have some component A, so that's our reactant that's being fed in here. So if we are feeding at some concentration, let's say CA in here, and then uh, A is converted in the reactor and we accomplish some concentration in that reactor CA. And then assuming that this is all perfectly mixed, then the concentration in the exit stream will be the same as the concentration of A in the reactor. So that's CA there as well. Um, and we'd like to estimate what the overall reaction rate is in this reactor given that the reaction happens in these individual particles. So let's write the overall um, mass balance first. So let's write that uh, right from the fundamentals. So let's write that in terms of molar amounts. So the rate of change of moles of A in the reactor is given by this, right? Na number of moles of A in the reactor. Rate of change of that, that must be the feed rate of A to the reactor, so Fa in, molar flow in, minus Fa out, Fa out, and then uh, there's some rate of reaction here, so let's say Ra is the rate of consumption of A, and that's a volume-based rate, so that's moles per second per cubic meter of reactor. Then we have to multiply by the volume of the reactor as well. So let VR be that volume. So if, uh, if we say that we are feeding A to that uh, system at the volumetric flow rate V0, then at steady state, the volumetric flow in must equal the volumetric flow out here. So let's say that's V0 over there. Then we can say that the molar flow of A in, that must be the volumetric flow multiplied with the concentration of A in the stream, so CA in, right? And, uh, well, let's just replace for that. So we can rewrite this as DNA dt equals, so FA in V naught CA in, minus V naught C A minus R A V R and then uh, we can also define for ourselves the space time right tau is the volume of the reactor divided by the volumetric flow rate through the reactor so the volume of that reactor let's say that's V R so that's volume V R and that's the volumetric flow across that reactor so we can see here the amount of space to cross, the rate at which uh, we are filling that space. So that ratio should be something like the average time taken to pass through that space. So that's the space time there. And uh, looking at this equation, uh, we can say uh, we're going to divide all of this through by um, the volume of that reactor. So dividing Na by the volume, that's nothing but concentration. So we can rewrite this as D C A D T, right? Obviously, various assumptions like the density being constant and so on and so forth. But uh, let's take the simplest case where we can just divide N A by V and we get the concentration. And then here we're going to divide um, this V naught. Let's group out this V naught and divide by the volume. So you've got the concentration change here. And then we are also dividing by volume here, so we're left with just minus Ra. So first of all, 
we've got our mass balance we can uh, apply the definition for tau in here so we've got simply dCA dt equals CA in minus CA over tau and minus RA so that's the standard form of your mass balance for your CSTR for your perfectly mixed reactor and uh, in this we have written this in terms of the volume based rate so that's the moles per second per cubic meter of reactor and uh, here you can see moles per cubic meter and then per second right tau space time that's a time thing moles per second uh, per cubic meter moles per second per cubic meter here moles per cubic meter per second so it's all the same units so that's um, that's our standard balance for the CSTR so now let's look at the um, the application using the catalyst particles in there.